Hello, nation. Hello, cult. It's your leader here, Cobra. It's a top coffee time with Cobra. And unfortunately, my Han Solo Cup is um, MIA. I've got to find it. And uh, we're literally about to have a horrible piss down with rain. And I do mean a horrible piss down. It's about to literally just dump on us. We are rumored to be getting at least a minimum of about four inches of rain. So, yay! That's why no stream, guys. So if you're wondering why no stream, now you know why. Because it's literally about to piss down. And I mean, the wind chill factor as well is just, it's making it a wee bit, tad bit cold, bit nipply. And so we're going into the kitchen now, yay. Yes, that is another fridge. We've got two, three fridges. Oh. Um, so yeah. Oh. oh it's just been a blah day. Oh, focus, you silly thing. Focus, there we go. No, it's just been a blah day, guys. And uh, so I'm going to get ready to do me something to eat. And so I'm in the middle of going through my fridge right now. Okay. One, two... I normally do a seven egg scrambled eggs, but I'm gonna do four this time. Scrambled eggs, yay! Cobra's making scrambled eggs. Do, 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 do. No, that's the worker at the store. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go and make some scrambled eggs, and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, clip. Bye. Alright guys, another clip here. I've had some scrambled eggs and I got me another fresh cup of uh, coffee. So imagine this continuing this coffee time. Grim, do you know what the Missouri Missouri law is right to repair is? Concerning I take it you don't. Okay. There is a blanket law going on in Missouri right now that states that you do not have the right to repair anything that you own. This includes your car, your computer, anything. The moment you purchase something, you're not purchasing it outright, you're leasing it. It is on loan to you and can be taken back with malice, i.e. with police enforcement, from you. You cannot resell, you cannot trade, and you cannot loan out items that are of electronic value, i.e. cookers, fridges, microwaves. Fuck that, they can kiss my ass. Now, this was talked about in, in Gamers Nexus, okay? There's a similar law being passed in Illinois, but Illinois is going the opposite direction. Illinois says that once you have purchased something, regardless of what it is, it is your legal right to do whatever the fuck you want oh, with okay. it. This includes modding, reverse engineering, hacking, literally anything you, if you want to buy it just to blow it the fuck up, you can. It is your God-given freaking constitutional right through life and liberty and happiness. Right there. Utah has a similar law. Yeah, the messed up yes. thing with Utah, that's where e cigs got fucked. Oh, no, 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 that's not why. Do you know Aaron's, the company that you can buy furniture and shit from? Yeah. yeah. If this law passes, Aaron's will go bankrupt. And I mean... Bankrupt overnight for one reason. Any, any and all leases that a person has with errands will revert to permanent ownership because it is an electronic item and due to, the const due to this law, you legally own it and can do whatever the fuck you want to it. So those TVs that had the whole coin boxes in them when you used to rent them for like radio rentals or whatever. I'm not sure if you guys had that in England. Here in yeah, England, in motels. yeah, in England we had something called radio rentals. There was a little coin box that was either on the power on the power strip or actually in the TV itself. You know, and you put coins in there yeah. and stuff. You know, well, that if that law was to pass in England, radio rentals would go belly up because the moment you per rent it, sign the agreement and it entered your property it's legally your property now well errands would be fucked 
This is why Aaron's has already closed preemptively 120 stores across the United States if this law passes. Well, it don't help that they got busted a couple of years back with the whole uh, shit of freaking oh, crap. That's my brother. Go for that side. Yo. And so, yeah. But if this right to repair law passes, your missus has made you something to eat, bro. Jamie and Gerald that... Bro, your missus made you something to eat. They pulled in last night at about 8 o'clock. Sausage, night. egg, burrito. God damn, she loves you, bro. So, I don't know what's going on. Very hot. God, you love him. Yeah. And so, yeah, long story short, if this law passes, errands would go bankrupt. Yeah, any company that does a leasing program on electronic items would go bankrupt. Yeah. Catalog companies like Argos would go bankrupt because Argos make the majority of their money through people doing a rent to a, a, a buy a, a buy to own or a rent to own program. For example, in, in England, there's a like, there's a catalog company called Argos. Yeah. In which, uh, if you want to buy a laptop from them, the laptop is fourteen hundred pounds. No one's got fourteen hundred pounds immediately to drop on a fucking laptop at Argos. But you can make eight easy payments of twenty nine ninety five. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Yeah. Well, the moment you've made your first payment, technically you've paid something for an electronic item. Therefore, the whole right to repair law would kick in, and that laptop would be yours for twenty nine pounds. Go figure. That's why there is no right to repair laws in England anymore. They all got phased out. But if they bring that law actually back here in Utah, errands literally would go bankrupt. Because all they'd have left to rent is furniture. Yep. You know? And ain't no one gonna buy, you know, rent that furniture. We can go to Ikea. You know, and get Swedish cardboard for a fraction of the price. Yep. Yeah. You know? Well, better yet, just go to your freaking hardware store, buy the plans, and on the plans it tells you what you need to buy at that hardware store. You buy and build the table yourself. See, I miss that. In England, there was a, a company called B and Q's. I think they're still around. Um, they're a hardware store, kind of like Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah. And you could go in there, talk to someone, and tell them what you're building, and they would literally hand you. Uh, um, a, a, a list of the supplies you need, what aisles to get them at, and how much they cost. Literally, right there. Say, say you wanted to build a shelving unit. Yeah. Yeah? They'll tell you exactly what aisles got the shelf, shelf on it, where the brackets are, the screws are, what tools you'll need, and how long it will take you. They'll even get, they, some of them would even throw in a freaking spirit level to make sure that the shelf is right. It, it, it is bad, you know? I miss that about fucking hard, but hardware stores here in America don't do that. If I go into, a, if I go into to CJ's or, or Home Depot and say, hey, uh, do you have any build guides for whatever? They'll go, no. So, what do you sell here? Hardware. What kind of hardware? Wood, chain link, screws, nuts. The bolt. hardware to make everything, but they don't tell you what you can make. Exactly. And so, here's a hint, Lowe's. Bring that shit back. Okay, and here's another thing. Congress. Now, I know you guys aren't gonna ever see this video, and if you ever do, it'll be a freaking amazement. From an outsider's in perspective, okay, I'm British, okay, I live here in the States on a K-1 marriage visa, and blah, 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 blah. So, outsider's in perspective for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bring back shop. Bring back home economics. Those were the best things in school growing up. That's what taught me 90% of what I know. If you keep teaching everyone that it's it's intelligence that's going to get you a job and not actual manual labor, you're going to have too many generals and not enough soldiers. Yep. Okay? Plain and simple. You're going to have too many chefs, not enough cooks. Do you understand that? Okay? Bring back shop. Bring back home economics. Teach kids to work with... The, you know what? In England, there used to be uh, classes where you could go out and do gardening, you know? And actually learn how to grow grow your own food and shit like that, you know? Home ec used to be that way. Home ec, yeah. Bring that shit back. <laughs> I'm serious. Bring that shit back. And you know what? Here's another thing to offset the cost. What you could do, smart asses, 
it is, let, let's see how intelligent you are when I calculate this out for you. The home ec classes, okay, the home ec classes, when they grow the food, they can use the food, no, they can use the food in the school, for the school lunches. Yeah. Or open up a, an, or, an organic freaking Do it at a farmer's market. Farmer's market, sell it, and the money that they raise. Oh look, the band, you know, the, the marching band doesn't need new brass instruments anymore, or a new uniform, or the football team doesn't need this or need that anymore, okay? Think about it, okay? Why do you think Girl Scout cook, Girl Scouts are going to places like Weight Watchers in freaking pot shops to sell their cookies? Because they're not fucking dumb. So why is it the moment you put a suit on and go <laughs> not like a fucking fool in Washington, D.C., that automatically makes you think you're smarter than other people? No, you're fucking dumber. The more intelligent you are, the more easy you are to fool, you idiot. Plain and simple, all right? Like I said, that's the problem with Washington. Too many generals, not enough soldiers. Yep. You can close that cover. You can close cover. Like I said, too many generals, not enough soldiers. Bring back shop, period. Bring back shop. Bring, bring back wood, wood, woodworking, bring back shop, bring back automotive. You know, teach children to work with their hands. Yep. Teach them to break knuckles, to get calluses, to, to get scars. Oh, but don't you know that's considered child labor now? No. Child labor is Pakistan. Child labor is Thailand. Child labor is third world countries that literally squeeze people in like sardines, you know? And it's, uh, you will make this stupid fucking Nike shoe and dip, 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 dip. No. Uh, that, no, no, I'm serious. That's Nike. And that's, and Jordan's too. Yeah. Uh, 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 Michael Jordan got busted for child slavery and stuff. Enough. You'll be getting um, let out after. Look, you got 10 more minutes, all right? Hold it. Put a knot in it if you have to. Yeah. All right? You're not even doing the pee pee dance. I don't think they can put a knot in it. It's 5 o'clock. Yeah, and I let them out at 5 30. They've got 9 minutes. Oh, shit. All right, Grim. Dogs are coming out. You gotta get away. Josh, you can just lift the fence up and let them out. You wanna? Uh, Wait. Can grab my coffee real quick. Yeah. I got hands full. You might wanna. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hold on, Joshy. But yeah, oh. that's bullcrap. There you go. Three. Go. Clear. Let them out. The running of the bulls. Quite literally, because they're all bull breed. <laughs> And so, long story short, the whole right to repair thing is horse shit. And if you really want to fix America, if you really want to make America great again, it has nothing to do with kicking out illegals, it has nothing to do with getting rid of Mexicans or Puerto Ricans or whatever. You know what it has to fucking do with? Seriously? Bring back common sense, bring back shop, bring back home ec. Mm -hmm. Three simple steps. Common sense. So all these whole, well, uh, I was offended. So what? Be the fuck offended. Just because you're offended doesn't mean my rights end. Okay? Plain and simple. You have the right to be offended. I have the right to offend you and vice versa. What offends you may not offend me. A house full of people right here, right now. Oh, freedom of speech, motherfucker. Get over it. And another thing. I keep getting these things on my Facebook wall about other cultures coming to America and not integrating, i.e. Muslims. Yeah. The whole burqa thing. Look, here's a hint. This is my stance on this. This is my personal stance on this, which is this. If you come to America, okay, expecting to inject your culture into America, think the fuck again. America already has enough culture without you coming in here saying, All right, look. In the day, we don't need any more fucking Ahmeds, the dead terrorists. All right, we don't. So do yourself a favor. Take the fucking burqa off. Put on a goddamn bikini. Okay, go to California. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Or go to fucking Florida. Or better, go to Jersey Shore and get an orange skin color. Why the hell do people in Jer Jersey have an orange? What, do they belong in the Simpsons? I'm serious. Enough with, enough with the skin dye. That's why you people die of cancer too much. Throw a spray tan. Yeah. So long story short, right, plain and simple. We don't want your Quran. We don't want your Sharia law. We don't want your burqa. We don't want your... Be culturally fucking acceptable. Fuck you. Accept our culture. It was here first. All right? Plain and fucking simple. 
And another goddamn thing. And another goddamn thing. When it comes to things like the Confederate flag, first things first, don't just, oh, monkey see, monkey do. Do yourself a favor, do a bit of research. You'll find out that a lot of African American units during the Civil War actually flew the Confederate flag. So it's not fucking racist. You know what is racist? A swastika. That is racist. Yes. What and my else? grandfather from Germany will tell you the same fucking thing. Exactly. Now, here's another thing. Guys, you may be a supermodel. You may be a pastry model. You may be a Chippendale. You may be chiseled in stone as if Adonis himself carved out his flesh. But here's a hint. If you're ugly on the inside, you're ugly. There you go. Plain and fucking simple. I don't care how good looking you are. If you're ugly on the inside, you're ugly. There you go. Real talk with Cobra. Ugly on the inside, you're just fucking ugly. Plain and simple. You may look like a dump truck, but have a wonderful personality. Guess what? You're beautiful. Plain and simple. Because that's how it works. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you, finish my coffee, and I will see you.